It's how I blew your wife's mind away. Hey, it's Finny Commit. I'm back for another Paleo Tour. I'm here with Panda. How's it going today, Panda? Hi there. Hi. This will be one of our uh, uh, Sega Tour of Panda's plots, and I'm really excited. He's been really excited, too. So, Panda, you know the drill. You're my tour guide. Where are we going? Of course. So, um... It's like for, for this house, in our last tour, I just decided to delete everything that I had. Because of reasons, you know? Yeah, because of reasons, yeah. <laughs> because of reasons. And then I decided to, I don't know, I just wanted to improve the things that I had. Right off the um, bat, it just, it it has like a mansion feel. Just, just <laughs> I've noticed like with the bay windows, the, the fountains, mm -hmm. and the fact that it's up close to the front of the property like i'm already mm -hmm. yeah I, I know this is gonna be good <laughs> so uh in this case i will let you in to see the impact for my fireplace so, excellent welcome to my entrance hall oh wow okay let's unpack this <laughs> shall we <laughs> So wow. I have some, of course, I have made some tributes. <laughs> for, for example, I wanted to put something from the old house in this one. All right. Uh, so, for example, I capped the area for the villagers' rewards. Yeah. And now the complete. <laughs> <laughs> my my famous and brilliant I don't know shiny let's put like shiny yes your shiny temple to Hodari yeah it's shiny, <laughs> shiny temple to Hodari exactly so oh I my gosh it, yeah. like, I just I, I love wanna... the lighting and I'm just kind of taking everything in slowly because <laughs> this is this is really really cool just kind of how you oh have everything God. laid out it's so clean been, so like, clean and vibrant. I wanted to make like a, a living room, of course. Yeah. The house needs a living room. Uh, yes. And for some plushies to have their conversation and things as usual. Oh, know? yeah, definitely. <laughs> and for this part of the window, I just wanted to put like okay. some armchairs or some couches. But yeah, you can chairs, like sit here and just think yeah. think about stuff and things and I just love but how they, you decorated they, your, your bay windows. The silk and chase. They yeah. were like the best option. It totally fits the fanciness that you have going on just in this first little <laughs> area. Yeah. <laughs> totally. You. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Where to next, my friend? And yeah, we're come we're coming to my room, my bedroom. Oh yeah. Bedroom and my toilet. This one I wanted to make like. A oh, I love thing. this. I love this couch here. I copied the Shapa learning some magic. You know? <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh man, I you know, I just I wish I had a couch in my bedroom. That sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we shall so and you for always, example, I always take luxury to like the next level. <laughs> <laughs> this one I just made a replica because it it was something that I really, really loved. Yeah. In my old house. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Your your room really was immaculate. Especially like how you have these nice little plush uh, rugs on either <laughs> side because you know depending on what side of the bed you get out on you want to be able to step on something uh, warm and fuzzy not cold tile exactly. yeah and here now I have a, a bathroom in my house because in the other one I didn't awesome I really wanted to do a place like if I had this bathroom 
I would never get out of it. I would Ish. live inside this place, you know? And this yeah. is this is how I imagined and this is how I created inside my my own head like a place how would it be a place that I wouldn't want to live? I know, this is really incredible. Especially like all of the candles and stuff that you've added here and the flowers and everything like it you you have uh, a certain freshness to it <laughs> yeah. just this terrible reflection that we have in this game <laughs> yeah well you know that's okay there's so many things in here that are way more exciting to look at I just anytime I look at a mirror I just like look beyond the mirror so <laughs> Yeah, you got yeah, a, lot this of, one, um, a lot of good deals again, in here. Again, I wanted to do something extremely full of items with a lot of information to look at, oh, a yeah. lot of details to pay attention, but something, again, not overbearing. No, it, it is totally... I totally get that. Like, it's... um, It's not necessarily cluttered, but it is compact. Like there's a lot to look at, like you said, but it's not overbearing. It's it's done in a very clean way. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so love. my kitchen suffered a little transformation. Let's put it like this. Uh, my old would, kitchen. Would suffer be the right word though? I mean, because I, I, <laughs> I caught some know. some lines in here and. Yeah, it's super, super cozy. I, I, oh my gosh, I love this. It's all, like, all your friends have a place now, you know? Of course, yeah. They are all hanging out. It's, it's just like um, a family dinner, you know? Yes. Just a simple family dinner. Oh my gosh, the kitty tables. They actually have <laughs> kitties there. Yeah. We have the adults here. In the yes. big table, and we have the kids in the small ones. Oh my gosh. My last kitchen was designed for cake parties. Ah, oh, yes, I remember as that. I, as I do not hold cake parties or take part in cake parties anymore, it was, it didn't make sense to continue with that. Yeah, no, so I, I got you. I put the cooking part in the small area and let the big area with the feeding part you know so the million feeding dollar question part. is mm. what table would you be at would you be at the adult table or the kitty table it depends yeah right depends on the day some days on 13 on which relative <laughs> is inside my house because oh, when i have yeah. the boring relatives i prefer to be with the kids when yep. I have the nice relatives, I prefer to be among adults. That is <laughs> so that is so uh, so relatable. I totally understand. <laughs> Just this one, we're not going there, but only for you to look to little Ernest. Oh my there. goodness. You can use your camera. <laughs> we're gonna get to him. We're gonna meet him. Don't worry. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> so for um, this part, I wanted to put my game room inside my house because in my old plot, it was in another harvest house, in a separate harvest house. And in this one, I really wanted to put it with all the other things, you know? Oh my goodness, yeah. I love this. Like you took your house from the the first time that we met and, and did a tour and you've upgraded it like you have totally taken this and, and transformed it this is like your house <laughs> 2.0 <laughs> exactly this is my house 2.0 you know like look at all the changes and stuff here and the first video you know was just incredible and you can totally see all of those details but you have been very busy, my friend. Getting yeah, all of those things me. moved around. Yeah. I think it took me like one week to do. Still, to that's to incredible. Build this but house from scratch, you know. 
it's totally you can tell it's totally and and i challenge you all who are watching right now to go watch the first video <laughs> and yeah. see firsthand how much has actually changed between the two plots fun fact this is like the same plot he literally tore everything down and replaced it that's incredible that's the spirit yeah and you know what's going to happen tomorrow right yes i do <laughs> <laughs> i'm very excited for that because we had we do have new items yeah yeah and and we will get more in the coming weeks yeah. as well too which is also exciting that's lovely that's lovely that's lovely so for my backyard now i wanted to do like an open area because in the last one was very crowded with the trees i and really here, like this yeah all right here we come to you. the living room of my museum oh not only just a museum but the living room of your museum <laughs> and here's my aquarium uh, oh, this i'm just gonna very, do a quick little pan around here course. And then I'll be right we're gonna there. Go, we're going to come back here. <laughs> yes. Somebody. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So my aquarium, it's like I did change some things, but not too much. Because my aquarium, it was something that I really liked in my old plot. You should. Totally. I this still is just wanted incredible. To, I still wanted to make like give the impression that you are under the sea you know you yeah are under the water and you are walking with the fish you know I just yeah that's really cool that feeling. that you are you kind of gave that impression and you have so many things in here the fact that you set up the rooms the way that you did allows you to mm, have like a, a closed space without it necessarily you know without kind of like interrupting it with other rooms like this is the focal point this whole this whole uh what was it two two rooms yeah this mm -hmm. whole thing is is your aquarium and it gives you so much opportunity to make it what you want it to be without just kind of mm -hmm. having like a small little uh area like this is like your aquarium wing and then over there is going to be your bug wing which is exactly exactly exciting yeah now this my bug area uh for my old plot i really didn't like that area it's like i don't know for me it seems like unfinished and something that i did quickly without thinking about it but this one yeah this yeah this is an upgrade <laughs> yeah. definitely this is definitely an I like how you've wrapped around uh, the. You've had those plants go around that lamp. That's incredible. But yeah, taking those your space around that lamp is something like I don't know. It reminds me the sun going down yeah. or up, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally get that. I like the leaf piles. Uh, how you have the the branches and stuff on the wall. Yeah, and something that I remembered from our last tour is that we didn't have place to sit. Yes. Now I thought about that. <laughs> we got lots of places to sit. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you're totally prepared for q and I love it. I am. I am. <laughs> and I've also noticed that too, like um, just in some of the earlier parts of your house, like you have lots of plushies, of course. Got to have all the plushies, but... You also have just like places for conversation and reflection. And I think yeah. that's cool that you've built this like incredible mansion castle state. And then really... some friends of mine, they, they come to my house like Yanni. And then she asked me like, how? Where did you get these ideas? Uh, how do you get these ideas? And then I stopped to, to think about it, and I was like, I don't know. I just put some items here and start testing things. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's it, yeah. I think. No, that's, I mean, that's the way to do it. And, and if those of you who are on the other side of the screen wondering how the heck can I make my plot look like this, 
don't give up and just keep trying for sure just try things out and you'll you'll get some amazing things going it's like something that i think uh, about an aesthetic for my, my plan yeah i wanted to do something chic with a lot of information without being too much you totally nailed it because like between those two rooms and i remember your bug room before it feels this feels way more open and mm -hmm. and clean and, and airy and i love it i love <laughs> it you. yeah no i mean it's fantastic i always love these walkways too it's like yeah your whole it's house is the like curated. That we have. it is and i mean we may get something more in the future but i just you, you I, I totally dig hell everything all right all right let's see my, what we got in here my cropped house um oh. it was something that i personally loved making in my old plot yeah <clears throat> and i decided to keep it the way it was you know with all the makeshift things because i don't know for this specific uh stuff that we have here like making seeds and making jelly it just go with the flow you know it does yeah this is a this is a place where you can accomplish all of the things that you want to accomplish and it still looks nice you know <laughs> crafting spaces they can largely be in a means to an end and you just got to put some things down but when you take it to this level and you make it a place that you can go and like it's a it's a productivity sanctuary you know it's incredible exactly yeah and it's like i i when i put this harvest house here I was thinking about making a new aesthetic or a new design or whatever. I just couldn't. I was like, <laughs> I don't know, makeshift, it goes perfectly together it, with it, jellies and seeds. Absolutely, yeah. And here, as always, my crop. That's awesome. Very neat and tidy, of course. <laughs> With you got all the stones that, that everyone asks, how can I get them? <laughs> and I said, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I got it. I'm pretty sure that they'll be back in a future update. Yeah, let's hope for the best. Because but for nice now, trip. it's just a case of haves and have nots. <laughs> yeah, haves and have nots. I like how you well, have man. positioned your well, though, at the end here. Just like it. It's as I was exiting the, the door, like it framed everything up very nicely. <laughs> yeah. So for this part, I continued the, the same path, you know? Mm -hmm. So yep. in order for the tour, uh, when I was creating the style and the design of the, the plot, I was thinking about we're going to have a circle. I love that. Very nicely, very nicely placed. It's a focal point. You're walking around and it just kind of very gently interrupts the space. <laughs> this is something from my old plot that I had like thousands of this found in front of my house. Yeah. Uh, as it was very beautiful, I wanted to, don't you know, with at least one yeah, I, I like the fountains that you had at the uh, the entrance. You still kind of had a little bit of a hint of what you had before, um, but mm -hmm. then having that there with those trees around it, that's that's awesome. And Love here all is this. Ernest. There's oh, the Ernest. Bird is there. That legitimately kind of freaked me out when I peeked out the door <laughs> and I saw those glowing eyes. I was like, oh, man. This is but really I, nice to do. Yeah, no, that's really fun though. I kind of like to uh, get an angle to show like the heights. That's kind of how you can get those heights. For this part, Ooh. I wanted to do a park. I where love you can that. Hang out with your friends and having barbecue. Yeah. So this is my park. 
I love Maybe this. It's so colorful. So floral. Wow. Hand laying stones path. Got the right angles. Oh, Kitsuki's there. <gasps> oh, yes. The baby. Make sure I go around. Just That is a nice, nicely framed in area. I love Here's how cute the part this is. Where we can have our barbecue. Yes. Do you have a favorite love kind this of barbecue? Grill. Oh yeah. Uh, it's because Brazilian barbecue is very different from American barbecues, for example. Oh, it's I love like, Brazilian steakhouses. Totally, it's totally different. Yes, uh, you get salted with meat, and that's yeah, that's a nice thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we do consume a lot of meat in Brazilian yeah. barbecues. But my favorite, it is something that here in Brazil we call pão de alho. Mm -hmm. Pão de alho is a bread with an, a garlic sauce, a very strong garlic sauce, a mayo, garlic mayonnaise actually. Uh -huh. It's delicious. It's freaking delicious. Oh, this man. part, I wanted to do the altars as in my old plot. I wanted to continue with the idea of the altars inside the gazebos. So oh. this is the fire temple. Oh, <laughs> I scared it away, but I got it just in time just to capture uh, the flame, like the heat waves flowing around mm -hmm. the, the Kitsu. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. This one is less crowded than the last one. Yeah, but but I think I prefer this way. Yeah, I totally get that. You still have it still feels very sacred probably even more so because of how clean it is mm -hmm. and then and also the wind temple we have the wind temple beautiful totally feels airy totally feels like it's it's like you've climbed a mountain of you know a thousand yeah. steps and then yeah. this is the thing at the top that's awaiting that's, you. Thank you. Thank you. You have read my mind while I was I was creating this. Yeah. I'm very I, happy that I could, you know, pass this idea. Design is a language, and I I really like how uh, it's it's very easy for you to just express yourself through Palea. <laughs> Here we go to my crafting room, my trophy room, and the summoning room. Ooh. So when we enter here, we can go directly to the left. Okay. To my trophy room. I wanted oh. to make something very similar. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, but it's one of the favorite things that I like about Palea is that as you, as you achieve things in the game, you actually have tangible items that you can display and, and showcase. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't just have like a, a graphic that gets thrown into the game. You did something. No, you actually get a physical item. This is very nice. Like the gold one, you know, when you achieve level 50, it is it is a nice idea to keep players playing, you know? Yeah, totally. I totally get that. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is nice. Very, very nice. But I do think they look better in my crops house yeah definitely an improvement <laughs> the whole thing has uh, like so far has just been incredible how much thought you've put into everything I'm just the one thing that i around. missed the most from my crafting room it was that big circle that big plant circle that i have in the middle of the room yeah I didn't want to bring that again here because I just don't know. You really I wanted to make something bigger. More yeah. Open. You really layer plants very well. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Like, look at all of the different shades of green in this one small space, and then you have that lantern again, like you said, that and you point, you know, pointed it out that it's like a sunset. That's awesome. Yeah. That is so awesome. It's like this. I, I don't know. I really like this effect of layering. Yeah, lights. you're you're damn good at it. You really are. And then here we have all the machines, <clears throat> all the things that I need. 
to work to make things happen in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting the these uh, angles there. here too, but I, I just like how you've incorporated them into your design um, to where they're not, they blend in. They're not just like a, mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, they're not just like, <laughs> here's all my crafting things in one area. You know what I mean? Like they're incorporated into the design. You know, and saving the best for the last. I've been very good with my camera <laughs> to, to yeah. not look at it yet. It's the summoning how I room. blew your wife's mind away with this room. I don't know Holy why. Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. So this is my white years altar, my hunting altar. So we do have the head of the three beasts, the three beasts that we have in the game. <laughs> yes. But I want to do something like we're summoning him. Yeah. Wow. This is incredible, Panda. This is this is like next level. I think you've skipped <laughs> 2.0 and you've gone into like 4.0 already. That's so sweet. <laughs> oh, I, I mean it. Like this is very, very creative. Very creative. All of the different details and stuff like this, like you know. Oh man. Do I have no, I don't have it yet. Oh wait, hold on. Let me see if I can get it. If I can stay. That's the perfect. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm going to do it with you. I'm going. All right. I'm going to have it with you. You got to be quick about it though, with the Neil. Yeah. Well, my friend. Yeah. We know what time it is now. It's Q and A time. I am going to let you decide, actually. We can see it in my park, or we I've... can see it in my bug room. I like the it. park. The park sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Okay. I like the sitting area in the bug room, but I think the park is just, it's its so airy and, and f fresh. <laughs> nice. Holy cow, Panda. Let's talk for a second. Like, this is totally a reimagining of your first plot, which by definition was incredible. And those of you who haven't seen it, you owe it to yourself to go watch that and then go watch this one again to see the amount of transformation that has just taken place here. And I think probably the first question uh, I would have to ask is, wow, why? <laughs> <laughs> Because the moment Panda has been super proud to tell me constantly, and I love having him in our community, but telling me it's like the moment that you left my plot, I tore everything down and I started over. And I'm just like, I, I, when you see this video, you'll be like, oh my gosh, go grab a shovel and scrape your jaw off the floor. Why? <laughs> That's probably okay. my first question. Um... Darling, I really don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I think it's like, well, for me, for my comprehension and my understanding, Palia is a third person, The Sims, mm -hmm. with a, mix of, a mixture of Stardew Valley, with a mixture of Animal Crossing, or any kind of farming game. Yes. But the, the, the aim of the game, it is decorating your home. Mm -hmm. We do have all the achievements. We do have all the accomplishments. We do have all the skills to level up and things like this. But for example, I play since day one. Yes. The closer better. I have already completed all the accomplishments like all of them so i really don't have a lot to do in this game so it is something that i personally really love that is creating houses that's why i have 
always been a fan of The Sims since I know myself as a person, you know, mm -hmm. that play yeah. games. So it's like, I am a huge fan. I'm really fanatic. I'm like, I'm really addicted to The Sims. And the idea of Pelia, it's kind of the same, you know? You have your house to create, of course. You have to collect your materials. You have to hunt things. You have to cook things. But, for example, the, the late game, if we can call it like that, mm -hmm. it is your home. Yeah, absolutely. So, for example, and... tomorrow, probably, I will send you a message. I have deleted my this entire house and i'm going to make another one you know <laughs> and that's just an, incredible that you know you uh you have that comfort and that that you give yourself permission to do that i think that's just that's such a really cool thing it it is it is very much like a phoenix you know <laughs> yes. you just you burn it all to the ground and and re, you're like reborn through the ashes that's that's and so it's cool. going to be better and it's oh, yeah. going to be better because i demand myself a lot <laughs> <laughs> from my, i demand from myself a lot that's it totally yeah totally I, I totally get that i totally understand that and just you know getting to know you more um in our community has just been such a, a beautiful thing uh how you express yourself you know through your design your personality just it just comes through it radiates through everything that we've seen today in your plot <laughs> i guess another question that i would have for you is who is your favorite npc <sighs> well <laughs> my favorite my favorite npc actually uh I'm not going to say that he's whole daddy. Of course, he's very hot and things like this. Of we course. all know that. Uh, but actually, my favorite NPC it is Einar. Einar? Einar, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I really love him. He's so sweet. He really is. He is. And he's like, I don't know. You know, he, he's a fisherman, but he's a robot. Yeah. I have never seen him inside the water. I don't know if he would die or not. I'm assuming that no. Probably he would probably wouldn't be good for him to be close to water. Yeah. And why did he decided to be a fisherman? You know? Uh, I think that's his, his oneness. It could be something that he did with his uh, former human partner. You know? Just speculating here. Ooh. You know, favorite pastime. Yeah, I have never thought about that. Maybe. Yeah. But I think uh, yeah, I really love I really love him. I think he's very nice. So I have another question and this one is going to be a little out there, but getting into the lore of Palea mm -hmm. and the This is going to kind of bring everything together. Your design, your creativity, your personality, the lore of Palea, all of this in this in this one question. It's like 10,000 years that the humans were, you know, I guess dormant in a way due to we don't know. What do you think mm -hmm. your lineage is like before everything that happened in Palea happened? Because what I see on my end is I see a very, very creative person, very um, expressive your personality is just so radiant. So I'm kind of curious, like, <laughs> if you've thought about just yeah. on, on a whim, right? What is your lineage? You know, what is your lineage like in Paleo? You know that we commute with the dragon and we commute directly with the phoenix. So mm -hmm. it's like we commute directly with the two gods. It's mm -hmm. like we can not talk with them but we can interact with them. Mm -hmm. And you know who also could do that? The Narnia siblings. Oh, this, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I assume that my lineage, uh, this is Narnia. And I am the human that I was sent 
to this place. That's awesome. To have a farm? I don't know. Now you got me. I really <laughs> have never thought about that. I just <laughs> created this story like right now. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. But now this is my lineage. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really awesome. That's that was just kind of an outdoor thing. Panda, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just so <laughs> fantastic. Um, thank you so much for for the second tour. You just you've taken what was already a beautiful thing and you've made it even better. And I'm totally excited to see what you cook up with next um, for this thank next you. iteration. And by no means am I diminishing anything that you've done today. Like it's just so incredible how you've just <laughs> taken everything and uh, all of the designs and everything. So yeah, thank you again. Those of you who are on the other side of the screen, don't forget to like this video, comment. I want to know what you think. What was your favorite part of this? Uh, what are you running home right now in uh, pulling your hair out, trying to emulate? <laughs> and, uh, you know, everybody has been so supportive in, in uh, the community. I just want to thank everybody real quick for just how much support y'all have had for uh, me, my wife, and everybody else in the community just has been so supportive. So. Um, I will see you all for the next Paleo Tour. Panda, thank you so much again for thank another you, home run. And bye-bye. for having me in your channel. Absolutely. <laughs>